According to electronic design, bus bars are metal bars used to carry large amounts of current, often made of copper or aluminum. Every home electrical panel has bus bars to distribute AC power to the rows of circuit breakers. Okay, scrappers, look what I did. I lifted on this door and it opened. It wasn't even locked. So, you know what we got inside? We got a light, baby, light inside here. Okay, we're gonna try to take this and this and this apart. And it looks like there's a couple of welding outlets over here we might be able to get the wire out of. I'm not sure, right here. <laughs> but, yeah, you can kind of see the building now. And uh, I'm just gonna grab some tools and uh, see what we can get. We got copper here. This pan, it's got 240 volt. Um, yeah. Another one of these control panels that we did before. And it doesn't want to open like the last one. There we go. So we got another one of those. Some more breakers. And yeah. So I'm going to grab some tools and see what we can do. I'm sure this cover thing is heavy as a, a cow. All right, let's see if we can See if we can get this baby opened up. Hopefully the wire in these is, is copper or something, but I, I have my doubts. It might be aluminum. She might be aluminum in there. Don't want to get hit by this thing if she falls. There are those goofy clip things. Goofy clips. They're goofy clips that hold it on. Let's so hopefully we can get this last one up here. I'm gonna let her tip down. Ready? My tool bucket's in the way. Well, I guess it ain't gonna. That's the way you do it. That's the way you do it. Nice and easy. I see copper and copper and copper. These I don't know. Those might be aluminum. But whatever, we'll find out. The old bus bars in this thing should be should be sweet. Sweet bus bars, that's what we like. I can't see them yet, but. Sure, why isn't that fitting that slot? Come on, you think fit in there. a smaller screwdriver smaller screwdriver bigger equipment smaller screwdriver Come on. Watch out, I'm gonna let her fall again. Oh, we got one, one screw still holding on. Now, if I just had my trailer, I could load all this up right in the trailer. But we're gonna have to wind up sacrificing a bunch of junk here. 
All right. Now we're gonna let her go. Another one, holy cow. Yeah, they got that really, really protected in there. You don't want anybody touching in here because it'll fry your ass. Oh, look at those lugs. But they're aluminum wire. Aluminum, aluminum. Aluminum, aluminum. Aluminum, all aluminum. Those are copper here. And those again are aluminum. So the feeders to, for all these panels were coming in were, were aluminum. And uh, yeah, I don't know where these go. They go up this pipe. Over to there. Follow that pipe. Come on, follow that pipe. Follow the pipe. Hmm. I lost track of the pipe. Lost track of the pipe, Dennis. To, <coughs> to get them out or maybe part of them out I shouldn't have taken the ladder back I guess because uh, we may need it to get up there and open up some of them boxes and then we could always cut it at the box and and go from there so anyways I don't know how long I'm gonna bust bus tail on this today but uh, we'll see if we can get the majority of the good stuff out of it we might have to get the grinder to take this brass lock off of there wonder what's in this thing wonder what's inside there guild stream WPS. I don't know why they still have a meter on this. I should test this thing just to make sure. Just to make sure. I, I just don't trust people nowadays. I don't trust people. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know why why the public service would have a meter in here yet. Yeah, that's that is bizarre. Bizarro. All right, well, let's just continue on here.
Hmm. Yeah. She's not going to want to let me get in there. And I don't have a... Man, get a wrench or something to put on her to give me some more leverage. Leverage, baby. Come on. Did you do run the screw all the way to China for God's sakes? I think these slide into the bus bars. So I think those are the bus bars right there. Let's see if we can open these blank ones up. may have to try to take this this damn panel part out because uh, I don't know if I'm gonna have a thing to get those screws off come on screw I think those just push into there. Like that. Look at those, baby.
Try to break them loose. Break them loose. You're gonna have to try to break them loose, baby. That little cheap drill just doesn't uh, doesn't do a good job of breaking these things loose. Sometimes Dennis is too weak to do it too. Sometimes I'm too weak to... There we go. Uh, don't know if I should try. If I should cut them out. And uh, just to try stripping them on my stripping machine that you guys have never seen before. Which I'm gonna be debuting one of these videos. Cause they do pay for aluminum. And if you can strip copper, why can't you strip aluminum? Supposedly they told the hotel that uh, that there was asbestos that needed to be removed in the uh, in the electrical panels, and I'm thinking this is what they're talking about, <coughs> but I don't know. I do not know. It just seems kind of kind of fishy to me. Kind of fishy. How's that come out of there? How do you come out, man? Hold your breath, she might be asbestos.
it might be the asbestos. Okay, now I think we can take that off of there, yeah. Well, that might be small enough that we can take it with us. So, I don't know if my wrench is that big. I don't know. No, it's not. Oh my God, there are some big bolts and shit. Huh, might have to use the old Sawing all. Ah, that fits on that one. Aluminum is never as tight as copper because aluminum has a tendency when it, electricity flows through it that it'll uh, it actually loosens up, and that's why you see this. This black goopy stuff they put on the end of these. I don't know if you can see that. Um, that's supposed to stop it from, from doing that. It's supposed to stop it from loosening up. But it doesn't work 100% like anything else in this world. Oh, come on, baby. Yeah. I think if I take the sawzall and just cut right across there. There we go, there's that one out. Boy, that is really light. She's light. So, I don't know if this wrench is going to be too big now for that one. Yeah, those are a little too big. All right, well, how about if we uh, try to take this, this whole neutral block off? here that one was like loose she was loose all right there's that is that gonna come off of there now? Or is there still another bolt on ya? We got you now. I should have probably cut those wires beforehand. <laughs> What's this plastic junk? All right, so let's get the next size down. Alany wrench. Bet you it's this one here. If I can get her out, there we go. Yeah, see?
Ooh. And I probably have to use the the grinder to grind that that lock off and get into that other whatever's in there. Because there might be something good in there. Because look, at, we got <laughs> these. These are coming from there. So who knows what's in there? Oh, there we go. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Get in there. She broke loose. I wonder if it would have just been smart to cut that right down with the sawzall. Only then would we know. Only then would we know. Come on. There we go. Now, loosen that, loosen that one. All right, that can go over here. What do you think? Can I think we can get them? They're probably torqued. Baby, come on.
Look at them bus bars, baby. Look at them bus bars. <laughs> Start this little pile of scrap over there. Yeah, I bet you this is copper here too. Well, let's try the new saws all out again. That blade is just shot or or that's some awful strong aluminum I don't think I want to sit and cut them all like that I don't want to touch that blade either because she's hot all right let's try uh, let's look uh, so we see what the grinder will do to that I wonder if that if I can loosen them off with one of these nope so that means this whole this whole shenanigans is gonna have to come out of there. We could just figure out how it comes out of there. These are gonna have to be cut either way that I can see.
the hell can I stand on? What the hell can I stand on, man? I'm on a couple of these four by fours. Just shut this. Okay, scrappers, I'm back now. We're about ready to get this uh, these bus bars out of here. As you can see, there's three three bus bars. They should be solid copper, and then there's a couple three of these little plates in here. One one here, one there, and one there. And I've got this loosened up. This whole back plate, and I'm gonna crash her down to the floor for you. Hopefully it crashes to the floor and not me because I don't know what it's going to do with these wires here but we'll find out probably have to see me run like hell and fall down again I don't know how heavy it is with them bus bars in there so I don't know how fast it's going to fall or what it's going to do Almost broke the new drill, I think. <laughs> yeah. Ryobi, did you survive? Did you survive the hit? All right, she's tough. She old Ryobi. You still work? Oh yeah. All right. So there she is. There's the bus bars in there. I had to take the whole thing out because I don't have I don't have one of these fancy dancy wrenches to get that apart. So I'll have to figure that out. And uh, for now we'll have to take her whole, take the whole darn thing, get her home and then we can worry about. Oh. Worry about taking her apart. Yeah, she's pretty, pretty heavy. I'm thinking I can take these off and, uh, Hey Scrappers, thanks for watching. Be sure to like this video and watch one of the videos on screen now.